about more jeans actually we have this collaboration courtesy of undercover and levi's right john takashi's undercover and levi's have got a collaboration and it's pretty nice i'm not gonna lie for the most part you've been hearing a lot of stuff concerning denim tears and levi's that's been kind of dominating i feel like the the space in terms of gene output there's no one else out there really kind of doing genes to his level i think the last time somebody was getting their genes jacked and kind of sucked on this much was maybe capital back in the day but it feels like nowadays if you don't have those um reef denim tier genes and you're nobody right I'm, I'm sure some girls now are seeing those denim tier genes and probably might not give you cooch if you don't have them on so clearly there's an appeal to them but it's nice to see another offering of genes that might kind of change and mix things up and to me this kind of gives me um who's that guy greg lauren this kind of gives me greg lauren vibing vibes in terms of the you know in terms of the mix of the denim and some of the down material and other materials used it really feels fresh i love the outlook on it um first of all the phrase of we make noise not teeth not clothes i've always detest um i think it's a bit corny a bit lame but you know japanese brands love to put a flipping phrase an english word on their clothes it makes them feel edgy it makes them feel cool i've never really got it but you know it is what it is but the wash of the actual gene is absolutely incredible i love this kind of acid wash you could call it acid but i don't think it is you could call it over i don't think it is either but whatever it may be it does look really really awesome i'm not too sure what the deal was with the kind of um it feels like they've kind of patched in or colored the model's hair and given them little you know they've covered him in some sort of gunk some sort of yellow or silver paint paint or spray I'm not sure if it's meant to mimic them working on a construction yard again is that a lot of kind of weird faux sort of um streetwear cosplaying as work as workwear and make me feel like they're actually working i'm not too sure but there's some sort of paint thing going on in the back of the model's head there and then you've got the same kind of thing going on with the model here in the front. You've got this. Oh, look, oh, sorry, that's her name. Sorry, my bad. I'm so blind. It's the U with the line at the bottom there. Pretty decent logo. But then you've got some paint here around their face. So I'm not really too sure what's going on there. But the jeans themselves look pretty cool. And it's kind of essentially re what you what would you call it um reconstructed wear so it's denim that's also been kind of stitched onto pieces of cotton you've got some jeans here where the front of the jean is a traditional denim jean and you've got the back of it looking a little bit like a track pant and the denim jacket basically turning into a elongated trench coat type thing which i think looks pretty cool and obviously the third first thing that comes to mind when you see this is balenciaga because they've done a similar type of thing before in their collections with trench and parkers had like a denim i think like had like a classic m65 and then stitched like a camo parker on the back of it to make it longer and stuff so this is stuff that's been done before and the covers also done stuff like this before in their actual collection so it is no surprise but i do like how this looks you got this denim black jacket that's stitched onto um the back of a fishtail parker that looks amazing so you got the bottom of the fishtail parker in the back of it that's stitched onto the bottom of a denim a denim jacket that looks like a classic denim jacket that you'd find in a vintage shop it's got that sort of 80s kind of um shape to it where the shoulders kind of drop off to the side right they kind of drop over the kind of angle of the shoulder so you get that kind of big bulbous look on your arms which looks really really nice and the wash of course is flipping excellent and then you've got the same effect here um with what looks a little bit like a cable neck cardigan with some pockets that fit at the bottom of it which look pretty cool also and then the addition of these jeans with the cotton at the back of them i think these are going to be really popular person i think these are going to sell like hotcakes and this is my favorite especially from the side this profile looks amazing so you got this classic denim jacket with three different pieces on it it feels like you got like a classic denim jacket with a classic down jacket stitched onto the back and then you've got this cardigan effect so you've got basically three items in one it looks pretty pretty cool and then the model was also wearing a pair of jeans that look like they've been stitched onto um the front of a pair of track pants or sweatpants with the undercover logo also kind of stained and dyed and stuff i love this whole stuff i love the fact that for every reason you know um over dyeing and distressing and you know customizing prints is in nothing people not people are just happy with pristine screen prints or pristine stitches or pleaks everything has to be kind of chipped and sawed and edited and scratched around it looks good because everyone 
can kind of wear their clothes with pride and not feel like or no wear their clothes with confidence and not feel like they have to kind of leave them in con pristine condition all the time oh look at that look at that how interesting that is the back of the pants we actually inspect them a little bit closer and you look up to the guy's flipping bussy what you see is that the sweatpants that are stitched onto the back of the denims aren't actually sweatpants they look like they're t-shirts or maybe they're t-shirts that have been reclaimed or stuff that's maybe was in the scrap pile that they've basically been able to stitch together and make bits of fabric and then stitch them on the back that looks really cool so maybe that means every single piece will be unique so i wonder if this is going to be actually limited I wonder if this is kind of a perp if this is kind of a an imagined a kind of a on purpose vintage type of thing. What's what's this got here? Rebel Rebel Gods, right? I thought that said raw dog. <laughs> that'd be awesome. You put raw dog on the front of your jeans. That'd pretty look pretty that'd pretty look sick, I'm not going to lie. Um and then you got another screenshot here with the blue with the same kind of jacket i'm assuming with the down at the back i'm assuming with the cable knit jumper underneath there it looks pretty nice this is really cool like right, look at that that looks excellent i don't care what anyone says i'd wear the fuck out of that look that looks really really good obviously in the black is probably the best for me but that blue looks really really bizarre and this is the classic thing you see in most flipping art galleries everywhere in flipping London in some sort of white cube somewhere is some sort of video screening showing in these flipping cubed television, this cube Sony television sets. I wonder if Sony still make these things specifically for artists or are they kind of discontinued or for galleries in general or do they kind of just, you know, loan each other these TVs that they screen these flipping shorts on or somebody looking, blinking, scratching their eyelids or whatnot. I wonder if that's a, that's a thing. But this looks pretty cool. I'm a fan of all of it. I love every single piece. I'm not going to lie. I think it looks all really interesting. Um, I'm not too sure if each piece is going to be made um, to what to order or something, or if it's all limited edition because they're having to get old scraps of bits of material and then stitch them all together. I love how kind of off kilter it all kind of looks. The mix bit, like even this, because you could have probably. If they wanted to, they probably could have had just the, the the down jacket bit at the front instead of the cardigan. But I like the mix of it, of just kind of throwing it off a little bit by having the brown cable knit underneath a baby or kind of light blue jean color sort of denim jacket, a classic one, and having the back be the down jacket bit. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I like how that looks in general. But let's read the article. I want to see what they say in terms of if this is like a one-off. So it's courtesy of um, Hypebeat. It says, following an announcement earlier this month, John Takashi and the cover and Levi's have now released a full collection and lookbook of the upcoming collection. Um, highlighted in the series is a spin of vintage Levi's jeans and trucker jackets um, in both indigo and black washes. The trucker jackets are found in a number of hybrid components and attachments, including a puffer paneling, um, cable knit bottom extensions, and military-style cargo pockets. Sorry, and indigo flaps. Colligate text of the undercover slogan We Make Noise Not Clothes is found printed throughout. For bottoms, rugged two tone jeans are split at the seams and featuring a French terry cloth fabric, raw hem, and double knee panels on the backside, ripstop cargo pant pockets, and a co branded red ink jug. Jackrons. Additional details include a Rebel Gods text across the front of the zipper. Shot in the studio in London, the collection is styled by Noah and Angus York, children of iconic Radiohead singer Tom York. Oh, awesome. The undercover collection will be launching on November 11th, with the exception of Europe, which was a collection would launch on the 25th of Levi's Channel's West Undercover website. Okay, so it should be out now. Let's see what the prices are saying. I'm going to say probably 1K for the trucker denim jacket with a down thing. I'm saying 1K like minimum 1k if it's anything more than that i'll be very very surprised let's see undercover john takashi here <laughs> you got it here let's click the banner let's see what they're saying here the levi's if it's 1k i'll be surprised okay it's all in yen so yeah i'm assuming 173 thousand yen is not going to be peanuts so let's just uh let's uh, google search this and see what people are saying about that price but 170 oof we yeah, had 1k for the denim jacket down thing god damn so 1k and then what like under nine like about 900 for the jeans i'm assuming 100 thousand it's about 900 probably <clears throat> so you're looking at two grand is it two grand did i say two grand no you're looking at about yeah 1600 for the denim 
jacket and the denim pants that have been re uh re-engineered with um fabric paneling and whatnot from other scrap t-shirts and shit looks pretty cool might be a project to do for the weekend you know get a pair of old jeans and then try to stitch a bit of kind of cotton fabric on the back of them like this and try and make them yourself because that's a pretty i'd imagine it might be a bit of a sticky thing to do but it looks like a slightly easy thing to do get a pair of sweatpants and stitch them on the back of them they look pretty cool don't they I like the look of that and the t-shirt thing is all there. It looks pretty sick with the print on it. it. Looks sick as well. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too mad at that in the slightest. The pockets even don't really look like pockets that you'd see on the back of sweatpants. I'm not sure if they're pockets that are taken from the front of a shirt or something, but they look pretty cool. I'm a fan of all of it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. But unfortunately, the price is not calling my name.